My name is Elizabeth John, and I was one of the carers for my father, who had Alzheimer's for many years. I'm here to participate in an interview in supporting World Alzheimer's Month, and this year's theme is No Dementia, No Alzheimer's, and we are looking at post-diagnostic support in Malaysia. So let me start off by answering the first question that they have. What types of post-diagnosis support were you offered? As I mentioned, my father had Alzheimer's for many years and he has recently passed. He was treated at one of our leading government hospitals in Malaysia. All of the doctors provided excellent care throughout his illness. I must say that no post-diagnosis support was provided to both my dad or to our family. Number two, did you feel supported? Was the help you needed available? There was not much awareness or open discussions on Alzheimer's and dementia in Malaysia back then. Basically, we were not provided support outside of the doctor's appointments, which only focused on his immediate issues and not informed of future challenges that we would face. Without the post-diagnosis support, we did not get the knowledge and support to help us plan ahead. Question number three. Was a care plan developed with you? Once again, a care plan was not developed with us and it would have been so useful, especially in the later stages of my dad's illness, when he was immobile, unable to communicate and totally dependent on us, his caregivers. The lack of support caused a lot of anxiety and stress to us caregivers, as we did not want him to suffer. Thankfully, in later years, I was able to find support from NGOs such as Alzheimer's Disease Foundation Malaysia, also known as ADFM. I learned a lot from ADFM in the last few years by attending their training sessions and talks by professionals in the, in the field. I was also able to get invaluable support from the online Alzheimer's and Dementia Support Group. This online group has members worldwide who share their experiences, ask questions, give advice and offer an empathetic ear to those who need it. Finally, Question number four, what would you change to improve things? Firstly, the changes I would like to see is to bring more awareness and less stigma to the Alzheimer's dementia disease. As I've learned more from NGOs, I feel our government should step up and play a more active role in providing the support and awareness to patients and their families. I hope the government will set up an Alzheimer's and dementia center where the public can have one-to-one -one consultations, as well as be provided with care packages or information packs. There should be workshops and training sessions for caregivers and counseling sessions for those who need it. The centers should, be, should provide home visits by healthcare professional, particularly during the early and late stages of the disease. There should be an, a Malaysian online support group to deal with local issues. They could even set up a helpline for caregivers to call in for urgent matters. Community spaces such as malls should also be accessible to these patients and their families, similar to what has been done for autism patients. Basically, I would definitely advocate for other patients and families to get the much needed post-diagnosis support and care planning in Malaysia. With knowledge and support in the hands of the patients and families, there will be better planning and eventually ease of mind for all those dealing with this disease.